Hi, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Xuan Zhao, a professor from Wilfrid Laurier University. I'm excited to share with you one of our recent publications at the Journal of Production and Operations Management. Operational Hygiene or Financial Hygiene, Strategic Risk Management in Commodity Procurement. This is a joint work with Dr. Xing, Ma, and Liu. Almost all manufacturing firms operate in uncertain business environments. These uncertainties bring many risks. In this paper, we focus on two distinct risks as a result of demand uncertainty. Demand and supply mismatch risk and profit variability risk. Risk concerned manufacturers may employ different risk management instruments to reduce their exposures to risks. Operations hygiene and financial hygiene are commonly used by manufacturers that procure commodities as major production inputs. Financial hygiene can effectively mitigate the profit variability risk. A manufacturer can carefully choose a suitable financial derivative, such as futures, options from a financial market, and enter into a contract with a financial institution. Spot trading is a commonly used operational hedging tool. Spot markets provide continuous trading platforms for manufacturers to procure commodities in a timely manner to meet their production requirements. Manufacturers that traditionally buy only through long-term contracts can better match their supplies with demand by trading in spot markets. They can offload their actual inventories or purchase commodity shortfalls for their production needs. Financial hygiene and spot trading have been widely used in commodity processing industries, including chemical, metal, and agricultural products. In this paper, we use a specific example from soybean industry in China and collect data from there. Given the characteristic of the commodity processing industries, we are interested to examine the effect of different risk management strategies in a competitive setting. In this paper, we develop a game theoretical model of two risk awards manufacturers that procure a commodity from an upstream supplier through long-term contracts to produce a final product for a downstream market. Each manufacturer chooses X and T among four risk management strategies, financial hygiene, spot trading, the combination of these two strategies, and neither of them. We address the following research questions. First, how does financial hygiene interact with spot trading and further influence the decisions and performance of supply chain members? Second, does the combination of financial hygiene and spot trading always outperform either of them used alone? Third, how does financial hygiene perform when the manufacturer adopts different risk management strategies? And finally, what are the equilibrium risk management strategies for competing manufacturers? We provide the following managerial implications. When used together, financial hygiene can complement spot trading by absorbing the introduced price risk to bring a synergy benefit. Hence, the combined strategy completely dominates spot trading. However, the combined strategy cannot fully dominate financial hygiene because the introduced bot price risk may overwhelm its benefits. Spot trading should normally not be used alone, whereas financial hygiene should usually be embraced. Facing competition, firms can engage in different risk management strategies to avoid competing face-to-face, -face, and such can better utilize their respective risk management strategies. A real data calibrated numerical study found that soybean crashes in China should gradually switch from the combined strategy to financial hygiene only, with the increase in market size, spot price volatility, and product demand uncertainty. We invite you to read the paper for more details. 
These are individuals and organizations that we would like to acknowledge. Thank you for your attention.